Hi everyone, Hello. and welcome to Hollywood, Hollywood, Denver. Welcome to Hollywood, Bollywood, Denverwood, where you learn how to start your acting career, no matter where you live. And now, your host, Elizabeth and Troy Horn. <laughs> Today is Thursday, Theatrical Thursday, when we talk about how to find performance opportunities if you are an actor. Okay. Uh, we did a little overview, and then last week we did um, how to find live performance opportunities, such as theater, and now we are doing how to find on-camera performance opportunities, such as television, film, commercials, and new media. Ooh, new media. Ooh. That means like YouTube and Vimeo and Netflix, right? I think Netflix kind of falls under um, old media. TV. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. What about Amazon? TV. Yeah. It's like mainstream enough. I would just group it under TV because they still do it very much, you know, the same kind of TV style as far as like the casting process and um, like multiple episode seasons, the length of the show, et cetera. It's all very much TV format. Very good. Yeah. All right. So how do we do that? How do we do that? I don't know. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> okay, so let's talk first about how to find on-camera performance opportunities locally. Okay. Because if you are um, starting out, then you're going to want to start in your own backyard. Yes, um, master where you are first and then move somewhere else. First, make sure you... Didn't Howard say that? Mm -hmm. Make sure you're the king, Howard Meltzer, a casting director that comes out during our casting workshops. I think very good. It's like make sure that you're the queen or king of where you are first, then expand. Yes, do everything you can in your local market. Yes. Exhaust your par possibilities and then expand, you know, to region, like places that you can drive within, right. you know, a day. Rome was not built in a day. That's right. So, um,. Okay, local days. opportunities. <laughs> well, you can get them yourself or you can get them through an agent or manager in right. your local market. Uh, getting them yourself, you're going to have to talk to people. Um, you know, we, we say over and over again, get in some kind of training or theater group or something right. because you need to expand your circles and talk with other people who are doing the same thing you are. Right. And notice how I said doing the same thing you are, not trying to do the same thing you are. Doing. If you want to do it, you'll do it. Right. And like, oh, yeah, I got to do. Oh, yeah, I need to. Right. No. no. There is no try. There's only two. So, no um, try. Yes. Not so much. on the Was that close? Not even close. Only two. Oh, that actually sounded pretty good. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. So I know here in the Denver area... There are Facebook groups that are Facebook groups and or pages that are really great for sharing casting opportunities, such as, I think, in my experience, the biggest one is Galena's Casting, Galena Bukhova, I hope I said your last name correctly, a uh, wonderful, wonderful acting teacher at Colorado Film School, cool. and she was being contacted so much by people looking for actors, she started a Facebook page for people to share casting notices. Mm. Anyway, it's very active, and... Um, it is a great place for actors to find local work on camera. Um, there's also Colorado Film and Video Association and, and Casa Films Denver and a number of other um, Colorado Casting Connection for paid acting work. And you have one too, don't you? That's the one I just said, Colorado Casting Connection for paid acting work. Nice. I put paid in the title because um, we've noticed that when people post jobs for actors online, they often don't mention if there's pay or not. And it's kind of like, well, you might be open to doing a project for free, but you should at least know that before you take your time to submit. Yes. And write a little cover letter and send your picture yes, and resume. Yes, Lord. Please, please. Yeah. So we How much does it pay? Right? Put that in. That's also important. People aren't asking plumbers to come out for exposure. You know, so why do Say they... Say that. <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Can you imagine? You know, I my sink is stopped up and it may be in the walls, but if you come out and you fix it, I will tell my neighbors about you. And they might know people. They might. You know, you never know. 
I'll post it on my Facebook. Don't you need it for your resume? They might. They might know. Say that to actors all the time. They might know people. Yes, you do. You do need to do acting work for your resume, and you do need to get experience and expand your circles and meet people. Yes. But you should know if it's volunteer or if there's a budget to pay actors, and you can make your decision accordingly. Yes. I mean, when you're starting out, you're going to want to do anything that gives you experience unless you deem it unsafe or somehow offensive to you. Right. But beyond that, once you get a little bit of experience, you're going to start, you know, being a little more selective. Like, okay, well, it either needs to pay me or it needs to be an amazing role and or an amazing project. That pays me. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, but when you're brand new, you're going to do some stuff for free, for sure. But anyway, um, okay, so find out what the spots are in your local right. market. Talk to people. Get on the computer, but also go out into the market. Just because you want to do on-camera acting doesn't mean you won't learn a lot by talking with people at your local theater company. Right, right. Um, okay, so that's getting yourself work. Then there's also getting work through an agent or manager, a talent rep. And so if there are agents and managers in your local market, go see them. You'll want to see them. Now, ideally, um, you're going to present yourself somewhat professionally, so use our resume template. Have we shared yes, that yet? Yes, we have. Actually, okay. we can share the link again right here. Awesome. So use our resume template and make your resume look all spiffy. Don't lie on your resume ever, um, but make it look as flattering as possible. I see you've worked with Oprah and Denzel. Funny. I was on that project, and I didn't see you there. <laughs> right. So be truthful in the most flattering way. Um, and you'll want to have a headshot in order to submit, to even get seen by an agent or manager. Um, we're we're going to talk about that. Actually, um, that's the question we're answering this Saturday, week four of Saturday. Pictures. Um, someone's asking about, yeah, like headshots and how to go about that and if you need them. So we'll, we'll talk about that. Um, anyway, so getting an agent and your manager, that's a whole other topic, how to mm -hmm. get one. Right. But you can get local on-camera work through an agent or manager. Right. For so sure. The best thing for you to do right now, though, is if you're at the, if you're at the beginning, is to join the basic groups that you can find either in your local area. Just go on Facebook, type in, you know. Santa Monica Acting Network or yeah. Boise, Idaho Theater Actors. Exactly. And just and see what you can find. What you find. Start asking to join groups <clears throat> or liking and following pages, etc. Mm -hmm. Now, the other thing is um, on camera work outside of your local market in a major market such as LA, New York, etc., Atlanta. Um, so for that, you're going to want to get on these major casting sites and uh, make sure you check out our Money Monday, nope, Take Action Tuesday when we break out the career development checklist mm. and we'll go over casting sites. But the biggies that you definitely want to be on, I mean, the first and foremost, you want to make sure you're on actorsaccess.com. It's free to set up a profile, put up your two pictures. Um, and then you just pay for submissions. We really encourage all of our students, actually we require them, to go to the sister site Showfax where you download your sides, that's your script for auditions, yes. and, um, and pay the $68 per year and then you can submit all you want. You can submit a zillion all times year. all year. 68 per year for unlimited submissions on Actors Access. That's the, the big way to get on-camera work that's not in your local market. This guy got himself a uh, little gig on Jay Leno submitting through Actors Access. I think just trying to show a student how it worked. Yeah, and that was a lot. So let me show you how this works. I'm like, oh, I clicked something. Right. <laughs> and they called and they just hired him directly. No audition required because right. he was just what they were looking for and he had to If I can do it, you can do it. That's right. And so, um, and then there are a bunch of other uh, casting sites that will break out in our Take Action Tuesday hmm. in the coming week. All right. So then to wrap it up, so you want to do, um, go to um, your local market, look online and see kind of what casting opportunities are there either on Facebook and, you know, other social media sites, a little groups that you can join. And then also join Actors Access and pay the 68 bucks and join Showfax. And then you can submit two more jobs than you can ever handle in your life. Absolutely.
Yeah. And uh, potentially you may also want to pursue an agent or manager in oh, your yes. local, local market. Yes. Because they'll good. have access to some jobs you won't know about. They'll have agent access yeah. as opposed to actor access. <laughs> 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 All right, you guys, we'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs> on Fearless Friday. That's right. We're talking about having the correct attitude when you go to work yeah, for yeah. your producer, director, as an actor. Yeah. Bye. Thanks for listening to Hollywood, Bollywood, Denverwood. Learn more at coloradoschoolofacting.com slash Denverwood.